<clears throat> oh, what's up, guys? I know every time I do a video, I feel like I'm saying it's been a minute, but geez, we were sick. Me and the family have been sick for the past like week. We started feeling better a couple days ago. Finally, time to get back in the studio and get some of this work cranking. Hold on. my coffee in the morning but so I just I want to be more active on here I swear I want to do some more tutorials on, on just custom artwork and how to do certain things so I'm gonna try my hardest but I'm back in the shop getting ready to knock out a few jobs that are the deadline is, is actually approaching really really fast I got the Indasa uh, uh, Battle of the Boards Rhino back here. And as you can see, it's blank. I just engine turned all the metal, but I haven't put any paint down. And uh, so now it's gonna somewhat be a rush job. I don't want it to be rushed. I'm gonna do my best to make sure that I put 100% of me into it, and that's why I didn't work a lot while I was sick. But I'm back. I'm gonna be putting some work in. I got a big sign I'm doing for a museum in in in, in Tucson right now. It's it's pretty cool. It's it's like old English, and it's gonna be engine turned spun leaf basically, uh, gold leaf. It, it's gonna be cool. I'll, I'll I'll show a video of it once I get the sign in here and, and, and start working on it. But um, I'm working on that. And of course I'm working on the, every year I do uh, one of the awards for the Ventura Nationals. Usually it's the Lowrider Award. I'm sure you guys, if you guys follow my Instagram, you've probably seen it. I think it's pinned right now because it's coming up. So I, I pinned the old, the last one I did. But this year they had me do the Tail Dragger Award and I'm working on it. It's kind of got a Jim Phillips uh, color palette going on, but yeah, I engine turned the metal on the on the moon disc uh, and shot like this nice gold because this one's it's sponsored by Tail Dragger Syndicate. I drew the little logo on there. Hopefully, I didn't butcher it too much, guys. My bad. I mean, I did it by hand, and and uh, I wanted it to look authentic and hand drawn, so. Sorry if, if it does, if it's not exactly like your logo, but I, I figured, you know, it's it's an award, it's hand painted, so why not, you know? And this one's a little different, so I contacted my boy Lalo because I love the way he draws his cars, and I had him do the car, so it's got a little tail dragger right there, and then of course I drew a lot of inspiration from uh, one of my favorite artists, Jim Phillips, and I did this like fiery font because I figured tail dragger, sparks, fire. So I did the fiery like lettering on there. It's not done. I gotta clean it up a little bit, but I mean, I'm pretty happy with it so far. And I did the little sidewalk here to make it look like it's got the car on the street. Um, I don't know, I did a little fire, fire hydrant there because uh, also a Jim Phillips homage there, but still gonna have the Ventura Nationals design up here. And I don't know what else I'm gonna add to it. Once I put the Ventura Nationals lettering up here, you know, 2024, then I'll be able to start adding more background. A lot of this isn't gonna be seen once it's all done. You're just gonna have little bits and pieces of the actual backdrop. But um, yeah, I chose this yellow because I was going through the Tail Dragger Syndicate, uh, like through their website and Instagram and stuff. And they tend to love like a lot of the same colors as my brand, the black and gold, black, gold, and white. So I figured I'd put some gold in there, some black, some white, but I still wanted to add a pop of color. So, you know, that's why it's so bright. But yeah, this is what I'm working on right now. Uh, I gotta finish this today, clear coat it, hopefully ship it out first thing in the morning, uh, cause that clear is not gonna be uh, dry enough to ship out tonight, but I'll ship it out in the morning. That's what I got going on right now. I'm also working on this uh, giant sign for, it's called the Joyride Exhibit. It's at the Idea Museum in Mesa, Arizona. 
and uh, that's gonna be pretty cool. Watch. Uh, I'll show you the little mock-up I made for them so they can see what it's gonna look like. Hold on. I dropped the gel in the lacquer, but good thing it's closed. But yeah, see, we threw this through the CNC router. Thanks to my boy over there at 6x6 Designs. He, he's been helping me out a lot with running things through the CNC router, running designs through. We've been doing a lot of mock-ups and, and uh, just trying to figure out the system and, and figure out how to make you know, cool stuff out of it. You know, as you can see, it's kind of like, it's cut, raised. This is all one solid piece. It's not like letters glued on top or nothing. So uh, this is the, the prototype for a giant sign that we're gonna be making for the museum. And uh, designed the, this, this is a custom lettering, custom custom design for them. And, uh, and yeah, I made this for them designed it and started the process already hopefully we'll have that done the, the exhibit starts in October so we got to have all this stuff done soon I'm working on some some pinstriping tutorials as a character because uh, they're gonna be playing them in the museum while the kids walk but walk around so they know a little bit about pinstriping start them young you know but uh oh and then also after I designed this check this out they gave me this little thing over here So my buddy Mike Goodwin, he told me he got a new uh, laser engraver. So he took the design and put it in there and he made this little thing. He's one of the guys that works up there. Oh, there it is. I don't know if you can see it, but it changes colors or you can, you know, I'm sure you guys have seen these before, but yeah, he made this there at the, at the museum. Used the design I made for them, engraved it you know, put it on this little stand. It's pretty dope, but I thought that was pretty cool. So they'll probably have a big version of this or something. I'm not sure. He's he's uh, he's pretty cool, man. He, he'll, he'll take little things like this and then eventually use it as, as a like the base for something even cooler later, you know? So I can't wait to see what he does with the engraver. It's gonna be a lot of cool stuff, I'm sure. But yeah, we're working on that. And what else do I got going on? I got a couple meetings today. I don't want to jinx it, but I might be doing something for NASCAR because they're coming into town. So if that project gets approved, sorry, man, I still got a little bit of a runny nose, but if that project gets approved, you guys will be seeing that too. So that's another project that I got going on. Mm. So it's great. Those are the projects I got going on right now. I gotta finish them, get them to their, uh, you know, get them to the customer and move on to the next. I am working on some more videos and some more tutorials. I know you guys really love the tutorials. So hopefully I'll get some of those done really soon, get them uploaded. And uh, I love all your comments. I love it when you guys uh, let me know what type of videos you want to see so don't forget to let me know and uh, that's it from here so thanks a lot for tuning in sorry i'm still out of it i thought i was fully fully back on my grind but still a little bit it's not nose then not all there but thank you for tuning in and i'll see you in the next one